Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I'm the homeschooling mama to three kiddos. Here on the channel, we talk about everything from homeschooling to homemaking, all the things in between. As you can probably see from the title, we're gonna just do a good old fashioned what's in my purse video. I don't know about you, but I kind of miss the old uh, YouTube style, what's in my bag or my favorites and empties and things like that. And so I desperately need some order in the chaos and clutter we have going on in our home right now. Um, I will maybe probably get back and talk to you about my whole fly lady routine, what's happening with that, what happened, etc., etc. But for now, I just want to get into this. Um, and we're going to do this because I need a little win today. I need a little declutter project that's not going to take up the whole time or is going to be um, like a to be continued project. So I figure this is a good place to start. Let me show you first what I've been using for my purse lately. I've been using this bag here. It says, don't give up the ship. This is by American Freedom Company. I will link that company down below. I've also talked about this company on an old video of our favorites. This company though in particular is was a single mom owned company here in the States and she has some really fantastic pieces in her shop. She has clothing for men, women, children. As you can see, she has accessories as well. She is just married, I think. So that's why I said it used to be a single mom owned shop, but now she has, um, found a partner, a spouse in life. So anyways, enough about that. This, I pulled I ended up pulling this out one day um, just because I wanted a tote to take. Ironically enough, I took out just a couple of things from my large bag and put it in here and I think I was headed off to the library or something like that. And then this thing filled up so fast. So we'll dump it out, see what's going on, clean it up and switch it up. The bag itself on the inside is this gorgeous red color and then there's a zipper pouch here. And then on it, I have clipped, I have a ribbon and I have an antibacterial thing here. Sometimes we can't always get to a sink and wash our hands, so this comes in handy. And the ribbon I was using to hold back pieces of my hair. So let's take that off first and then start going through this clutter. So as you can see, this holds a lot of stuff. I got a lot of receipts in here. I got to go through that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go through and pick out the receipts in the trash and then go from there, see what we're going to put back in and what we're not going to. So, okay. I have it kind of separated out and I took out the trash. I had old like list in there, things like that. We have some straws that was from today. We ran over to Costco and I threw these in my bag. So these gonna need to go down to the kitchen. This is also, this is my snack. I grabbed, I didn't finish in the morning, apple slices. Didn't finish them and I threw them in my bag and they're still sitting here. So that for sure needs to come out, but it hasn't been sitting in my bag for long periods of time. Couple of produce bags. I have these in here because like I said, we did grocery run and I remember to toss these in, but these need to go. I need a better system for our reusable bags. When we were in California, the stores did not hand out plastic bags, but now that we are in Utah, they do. And so I've gotten really laxed on bringing my reusable bags and I've trying, been trying to get back into the habit of that because we have way too many. We try to recycle them when we can, but we just have way too many on hand. We don't need any more. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of bringing our own bags. So these are just a couple of produce bags that can find a better home. This is my wallet slash um, on the go planner. This does need a desperate clean out as well. I'm gonna go through, pull out receipts and old list um, and eventually come back in and clean this up. But I think that could probably be saved um, if I'm gonna stick with it or move to something else for a different video. But for now, we'll just set that aside. I also have crayons. <laughs> we have pieces, I should say more accurately pieces of crayons and colored pencils and things. Um, I carry this with me because sometimes things being like colored pencils, sometimes when um, we go out somewhere, my kiddos just, they need more crayons or colors or something. And this little container from the Dollar Tree is like a great size to house them in. You can see there are several little crayons in there from when um, we've gone out to eat and they kind of live in here because they've lived in my purse. And so the kids are like, oh, throw these in, in as well. So 
We actually can go through this and pull out crayons we don't need, but I don't think this whole container is gonna come back in my purse. Not unless we have somewhere we need to go. I also had spare change, that needs to go in here. Hair tie, pens, mascara. So I have two pens, I know for sure. One of these, this one doesn't fit in here even though I wish it would. So one of these needs to go in my planner. And I think these two I was carrying in here and we'll go over what's in here in a second. This I grabbed um, to put on in the car, on the way, on the go, and it's been sitting in here ever since. So that can probably go back. These I purchased, um, we ran to the Dollar Tree and I got some of these for my actual catch-all planner. I bought this size sticky note flags and then I also grabbed these. I was jotting a few things down and um, I didn't grab a bag that day. So I was like, no, 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 it's just these couple of things. I threw it in my bag, my big tote that I was carrying and they stayed there too. So these can go on my desk. And then lastly, I have a little mini flashlight. I think this was one of my kids. Um, so <laughs> that's there. Sunglasses not in the case, which reminds me, then where is my case? Ah, that's gotta be found. And then a little mini first aid kit. Let's check this out and see. This probably needs to be updated with a few things. So we have a couple of vitamin C packets in there. I have two band-aids, which is, oh, yeah, just two, no, three band-aids, awesome. Lactaid, so enzymes, a hand cleaning wipe. These are two um, liners and then just a piece of gauze. I actually think this is fine. I used to have, I think the most that I use this for is the band-aids. So as long as we have a couple band-aids in there, we're good, we're on the go. But I used to have those little you know, it's not Neosporin. Neosporin's the brand name, but you, you get the gist. I used to have that in there as well. And I guess it either expired or I didn't refill it, but that's plenty. So a little first aid kit. This has just some enzymes and stuff that I'll carry on the go with us. So that is fine. And then this hiding in the corner here is just, this is one of like the token boards that I use for my son. I, um, let me take this off and you can see what we've done here. There is a Velcro sheet on the back here. These are stickers that he's just stuck on there. But these little ones, Paw Patrol, are, were stickers and I laminated them. And then I added mini Velcro on the back. And this is where they sit. And then this is for his class. He has four usual activities that he does. He puts what he's working for here. And then if he does them well, he earns the sticker. And then we know we had a good class. So it's just an on-the-go token board. I also had one of these just for your behavior when we were out and about, but he needs that less and less. And um, we just brought this out again because for class, he needed it for a while. And sometimes he, I think he's on the verge of not needing it, but it's just to help when, when we need it, when we need a little assistance. And all this was, was an index card, um, again, that I laminated, then I added this on and hole punched it because sometimes I'll put it on a key ring or something. So that's gonna stay in there. Then, like I said, in this little pouch, this little pouch I've carried with me for so long and it's got a lot of <laughs> randoms in here. This paper used to house a couple of bobby pins, so I will probably get a fresh cardboard paper and put more bobby pins in there. This is like half a emery board stick. Um, it's seen better days, but it, need, it should be replaced. I have two cough drops, some mini scissors, another sometimes we are not working for free choice sometimes we're working to purchase a snack and so that will go on there and then double-sided tweezers i like to keep these in there in case we get a splinter on the go or something like that so we have these as well that stay in there so the scissors will go back in a couple cough drops the emery board i should probably switch it out but i don't know where there's a spare one right now so that half of one will do 
I don't know where there's a spare memory board right now, so that one will do. I also have, whoa, chapstick that I'm sending flying. These are baby clippers, and these have come in handy more often than not on the go. And so I have carried them with us because I'm actually surprised at how often I will use them. These ones are cool because they have this little magnifying glass on the end here, so you can see closer when you're having to cut nails or if you're having to take out splinters, that little magnifying glass has come in handy. So that's gonna stay in there. I know I have the highlighter and the pens because sometimes, um, sometimes at church, I will not bring my other little bag with me and I want the highlighter or something like that or even when we're just out and about and I find being the, I guess, stationary nerd that I am, <laughs> I like to highlight some things. So I have these in there. And these RSV pens, RSVP pens, I know I've said it before, but these are my absolute favorite. And I think they used to be like two for 98 cents at Walmart, but it's probably gone up along with everything else in the world. So I'm not quite sure what it is, but they're pretty inexpensive. So I really like those pens. These I need to check the ingredients on. These are just some lip liners. This big one is a lip stain. But I recently found out that I am allergic to a couple of things. One is a metal and then one is an ingredient that's put in, like a chemical that's put in to makeup and creams and just a whole bunch of stuff. And so I haven't been using these, but I had them in here as a, you know, if I was out and I just wanted to put on some chapstick and maybe a lip stain or lip liner, but I have to check the ingredients on here to see if it is even something that I can use anymore. So we're gonna set that aside. And then just a little essential oils, um, roller ball. This one is, I don't, this was gifted to me by a friend. I was just taking the time to smell it. Um, <laughs> but it's like a calming mix, um, a calming or a happy, I don't know. When we use it, we just know that it, it, it makes us feel calm and happy. It smells good. And so I don't know all that she put in here. I just know that we love the smell of it. So that stays in there as well. You know, I'm going to actually put this little baby flashlight in there too because it doesn't take up that much space okay here's what we're adding back to the purse i did go ahead and get a few more bobby pins that's something that always i mean i don't know what happens to all the bobby pins in the world because they just disappear along with things that are disappearing in the world <laughs> hair ties. So these also kind of, I try to have them everywhere. We have a couple in the car, um, but I try to have a couple in my purse as well because yeah, you never know when you need it. Apparently <laughs> my kiddos are also vacuuming, so I'll try to hurry and get this done. And then I usually have some sort of floss or something in there as well. So that's going back in. And then I carry a hanky with me most, sometimes, most of the times, sometimes, most of the times, I don't know, not this time, right? We have those travel tissues with us as well, um, but I usually have a hanky or a handkerchief as well, just a men's handkerchief. These are probably, well, I know, they were my dad's. So I have this and I will usually switch them out every Sunday because if you ever catch me in church, I'm a total crier during worship. So <laughs> I have to clean it out on Sundays, but it's been a while since I've cleaned out my purse and I didn't replace it. So we're gonna put that back in as well as just a little notepad for um, pens and pencils. I like to keep this for not just notes for me, um, but for my kiddos as well. So I'm gonna put all this back into my purse and I'm gonna switch up the purse. I'm gonna go back to this. This is just a pink no name bag that my mom and dad had purchased for me years, several years ago. Um, and it's still holding up and I'm using it. So inside, I'll put the thing back down, the camera angle back down to show you, but um, there's lots of con containers, compartments inside and there's a zipper here. Oh, there's something in it from the last time I used it. Antibacterial wipes and more trash. So antibacterial wipes can go back in. They're probably dry, although, so they probably don't need to be in there, but we'll shove that back in there. And then it's got, it's got two little handles here and then one larger one if you want to put it, you know, um, kind of large to be over your shoulder, but I know for a fact I've carried it that way or just on one shoulder. Okay. And then inside it's got a lot of compartments, which I love about my purses. 
So it's got two open pockets here. One is usually for my purse. One is usually for my purse. Oh, dear gravy. One is for my phone. <laughs> and then it's got a zipper pouch here and then two sides here and the middle is also has a zipper and then these as well unzip. So it does have a lot of space, but it does get heavy when you pack it down. So I have to be careful not to put too, too much in here. First thing that's going back in though is my wallet, which is pretty heavy. So I am gonna have to go through that. This token board, I think I will keep um, on one of these sides actually. So it can be grabbed pretty easily when we need it for class. So we're gonna put it in there along with the notepad. So I know that little cubby corner is for my kiddos. This um, little thing of a bunch of stuff can just get dropped in this side. Hanky can go in the zipper pouch because I need to know where it's at when I need it. My sunglasses can probably go in with the hanky because the hanky's still clean. And then until I find my pouch for the sunglasses, that'll work. First aid can go in this pouch too. Same with the enzymes. And I don't really know if we need to have this in the purse. Um, I don't wanna have it on, on the outside of my bag. I just, I don't really like the way that looks. And we don't, honestly, we don't use it. I try not to use it too often. I'd like to get like the Young Living one, but I just haven't been able to grab, to get that yet. So we've been using this one. Oh. There's a pencil top eraser in there. Let's take that out. I guess for now, this can go on the outside with the antibacterial wipes. And we'll keep that in there and see if we even use it. And then I will add in some of my sons. I have a sensory pouch that I'm working on for him, which is have has little tidbits and things that help us um, when we are out and about things like our token board and things like that, but, um, that's going to be something separate that I'm finishing foot. Oh, putting the finishing touches on and then that pouch can fit right in here too. And then just this, it's probably not the best to just throw it in there, but that's fine. So this middle thing is empty. I do have a couple other personal things that will probably drop in here, but I'm not going to share on camera. So that's going to do it for what's in my bag. And then everything, I like this bag because I can leave it open or I can zip it up and then if it tips over in my purse, in my purse, in my car, if it tips over in the car, um, if it tips over in the car, nothing falls out. That's gonna do it for what's in my bag, cleaning out my bag, whatever you wanna call it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and getting this done. Let me know if you miss the old videos as well, things like this, just fun little random bits I feel like used to be popping up all the time and now not so much. So <laughs> I'm glad that I got this cleaned. It literally took like really hardly any time at all. My purse is cleaned up and now I feel like I have this minor win for the day of decluttering. Thanks for coming along with me and getting it done. And as always, if you don't know or you just need to be reminded, may be the one to tell you that you are deeply and truly loved and so, so appreciated. I really appreciate you taking your time out and spending your hair with me. I'm pretty sure you can hear my kiddos. I think they need some more mama attention. So we're gonna go do that too. Thanks again for watching.